hi, what is the value of k? Given that you have k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. Let's have it to be solution. From here, let's have this as k to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 to be equal to 0. Then having known that one, let's simplify this as k to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2. 3 times 2 will give us 6 minus 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2. 3 times 2 will give us 6. Then let's set them to be equal to 0. This is the difference of 2 square because it has power 2. Power 2, you call that one, we have a square minus b square equals a plus b in bracket multiplied by a minus b. So we can have it here as k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 as this. Then again multiply by k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. Then equals 0. Now for this expression to be equal 0, is either we have, let's say case 1, k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0, or we have case 2, k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. So therefore from here, let's go with case 1. We call that when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, sum of 2 cube equals a plus b multiplied by a square minus a b plus b square. So when you apply it here, we realize that our a is k, our b is 3. So we have here to be k plus 2 multiplied by k square minus 2k plus 2 square in parentheses equals 0. So here will be k plus 2, we have k square minus 2k plus 4, everything equals 0. Then from here we have k plus 2 equals 0, or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 to be equal 0, for this expression to be equal 0. So therefore from here, the first solution will be k equals minus 2. Then to get the value of k from here, let's apply quadratic formula where we are going to have minus b, positive or negative root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Why the parameter a is the coefficient of k squared, a equals 1, b equals minus 2, then c equals 4. So we are going to have k, here is already minus 2, here will be minus outside minus 2 positive or negative root of minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2. Then 4 multiplied by a is 1. Then c is 4 divided by 2 times 1. So from here we have k minus times minus will be plus 2, positive or negative root of this will be 4. 4 times 1 is 4 times this will give us minus 16 divided by 2. So from here, we have k to be equals to positive or negative root of 4 minus 16 give us minus 12 divided by 2. So from here, we have k to positive or negative. We can have 12 as 4 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So from here, we have k to be equals to positive or negative, root 4 will give us 2, multiply by root 3, then this root of minus 1 will give us i, divided by 2. So we have k to be equals this, 2 divided by 2, positive or negative, this 2, root 3, i, divided by 2. So we have k, this divided by this will be 1, positive or negative, this, we cancel this, root 3i. Then we also have k to be equals minus 2. Then, from case 2, so from here we have, from case 2, is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, we satisfy this, equals a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square. So from here, here will be 
k minus 2 multiplied by k square plus 2k plus 2 to the power of 2 equals 0 from here. From here we have k minus 2 in parentheses multiplied by k square plus 2k plus 4 equals 0. So from here is either we have k minus 2 equals 0 or we have k square plus 2k plus 4 to be equal 0. Now, from here we have k to be equal to another second solution, real solution. So from here we can get k to be equal to minus b, positive or negative, root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here, we have the parameter a to be equal to 1, parameter b to be equal to 2, then c equals 4. Then we have from here to be k equals minus outside, we have here to be 2, positive or negative, 2 square minus 4, a is 1, c is 4, divided by 2 times 1. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 minus this will give us 16 divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of minus 12 divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, we can have this as 4 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative, root of this will give us 2, divided by 3, i. Root of minus 1 will give us i, divided by 2. So from here, we can have k to be equals this, minus 2 divided by 2, positive or negative 2, root 3, i, divided by 2. So from here we have k, this divided by this will be minus 1, positive or negative. From here we have root 3, i. We have k to be equals to this is another solution. Mind you that we also have k equals 1 positive or negative root 3i, where we also have k to be equals minus 2. So where this are complex solution, this and this are complex solution, why this and this are real solution. So if you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more mass tutorial videos. Bye-bye.